Hi guys, I'm here at Dollarama. I'll be picking up a few of these cheap paints and I'll head right back to my studio and do a quick pour. Hi art friends, welcome back to my studio. So today I'll be doing a pour using cheap craft store paint. I mixed up my colors already with the same ratio as normal, one to one floatrol to paint. The mixture doesn't take as much water as the other paints because these are fairly thin. So I'll mix this one on screen so you can see. So one part Floetrol to one part paint. And you add water as needed. As you can see, it's fairly thin without the water. So I won't be adding much water to this. I have titanium white, neon blue, neon green, neon yellow, pure pumpkin, and turquoise. This is water. And that's perfect so I already add one drop of silicone to all the colors except the yellow I put two drops in the yellow and I'll be adding one drop to the turquoise so that's a total of seven drops of silicone As you can see we have cells and this is the craft store paint
And there you have it. That's a pour using craft store paint. I must let you guys know though that I did this pour this morning and uh, after recording I noticed that it's not on my camera anymore. <laughs> so this is take two. I will take this outside where the lighting is better and I'll show you both this and the one I did this morning. So here you have it. Cheap paint, craft paint from the dollar store with uh, seven drops of silicone in total. It's quite pretty for pouring with kids or a little home craft projects, but we're getting a lot of dimples in the painting. And there's a lot of uh, canvas showing up, a lot of bare spots. For example, right up there in the top middle corner, lots of bare canvas. I can already tell you what's gonna happen to this painting once it dries because as I said I did it this morning it's likely to crack and craze just like this one the one I did this morning look at those cracks so if you're into crack painting <laughs> this is the way to go but I know this will look very beautiful once I varnish it. It will have that old painting feeling. I see a dragon. Oh, I just saw it. Can you see him? That's his head right there. Like a baby dragon. And that's the fire coming out of his mouth. And those are the wings. Oh my goodness, I just saw that. But yeah, as I was saying, cracks, crazing, that's what you get from using cheap quality paints. So, I hope you learned something from today's tutorial. Sandra, I know you wanted to know about the cheap paint, if it can be used. Yes, it can be used, but you will get what you pay for. Isn't that beautiful, though? If only it could stay that way, but it won't. I'll show you the dried result in my next video. Thank you for watching. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.